Hi, I'm Lauren Bregitzer, the audio professor. I'm going to show you how to create a generative jazz drum solo. Um, and you can use this technique with a lot of different things, but I'll show you how I do it here. That uh, sounds something like this. So you can see how I do this in less than 10 minutes. So just follow along with this video and have fun making music. All right, so to start off, I'm just gonna make a blank MIDI clip here. And it's gonna be one bar. And I'm actually going to change the length of it to actually one beat. It doesn't even need to be one bar because I'm just gonna repeat a single beat over and over again. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is go in and just grab a uh, drum kit. So I'm going to go over here to uh, packs. I'm going to go to drum booth has some of my favorite drums in there because I a natural drum sound. So I'm going to click drum kits, basic. And I just like this general purpose one for this. I'm going to drop that on there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dr drop in a kick drum. Boom. And when it loops, it's just going to play that kick drum over and over again. And that's pretty cool. But maybe I don't want to hit like every single time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to click here. It's going to bring my uh, chance window up. And I can actually adjust the chance that that drum note plays. So I'm going to make it a chance. So it's like 75-ish percent that it would play. So it doesn't play every time. All right, that sounds good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in into that clip, expand that up, and I'm going to see my grid set to. My grid is set to 16th notes, and that sounds good. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have every single sound, except for the side stick. I don't like that in this. Uh, so every single sound, hit the B key, and I'm just going to drag these up and copy it on every single sound here. So this is 16th notes. And so obviously this would sound ridiculous, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these, all the sounds. Get out of 3%. Fix that kick. Sounds pretty cool that way. And the next thing I'm gonna do is actually go in and um, go to this MIDI effects. I'm gonna grab the velocity. I'm gonna drop the add some random on there. So now it's gonna have some random velocity on each of those, so. Sounds pretty cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that down and change it up a little bit. I can get rid of these. And I'm going to change my grid. I'm going to right click and go to triplet grid. So that's going to put in triplets. So now I'm going to draw on those triplets and paste those on every single drum hit. And again, I'm going to select all those and bring the chance down to about 5%. So the triplet will sound like this. So I was a little busy. I might bring it down to four. There we go. All right, and then the last one, I'm gonna do 30 second notes. So go to this this clip here. Here are these notes. Delete. Turn off the triple grid, grid, set it to 30 second notes. So now, oh, I'm gonna copy those up on each 
note. And then I'm going to bring the chance of these way, way down. So it was five before. I'm going to make the chance of these be like two. All right. So let's be more like. Maybe a little bit more than that. We're up to three. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to um, stop these clips. I'm going to go into uh, the follow actions and I'm going to open that tab here, turn on follow actions and say, you know, after every one cycle, since it's one beat, um, play any. So I can play the same one twice or it can play, it can play itself or it can play any of the other, other three clips, other two clips. All right, sounds pretty good. Sounds busy. Uh, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to bring these down. I'm going to option drag to copy those. And I'm going to take the top ones and bring their percentages down just a little bit more. So I want this to be, uh, I want this jazz part to build. So I'm going to select these. Let's bring the percentages down. You know, it's at six. Let's bring it down to like four. And then the second one, select all these and bring the percentages down to like, Three. This one, percentages down. Uh, let's bring them down to two. So now these groups will play. So this group of clips is like the softer of the drum solos. I want more reverb on that snare. Can I give that reverb? And then, so that's the beginning part that's pretty mellow. I can bring my tempo of my piece down too, to like 85. And the second batch will be a little busier. That sounds pretty good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and make one busier one. Copy those down. And so this first batch. Oh. Copy those down. There we go. So this first one, go in and select these and make them extra busy. Maybe like 8%. Instead of the 3 and 5 or 4 and 5 we had before. This next one, go in, select these all, and make the percentages like 5%. And this one, we'll select them all and make the percentages 4%. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually click on the kick drum, make the kick drum hit like... 93% of the time or so. So when it gets to this section, it's going to be a lot busier. So now what I can do is I can use the follow actions in my scenes. So I can click on this first one and I'm going to go over to follow actions. I'm going to say, click on follow actions. And I'm going to say, um, after eight bars, 
rather than next, I'm going to go down to this new one. It's called jump. I'm going to say jump to this fifth one here. Punch in five. So now after eight bars, when I launch this scene, it's going to it'll, it'll launch this next group of three. So it'll sound something like this for eight bars. And now it's going to launch this next one and be busier. That's great. Now what I can do now is um, on this one, I'm going to say after eight bars, click on fall actions. I'm going to say after eight bars, jump to this third batch, which is at number nine. So I'm going to say jump to nine. Done. All right. So, and then at the, at the at nine, I'm going to say follow actions after eight bars. Jump to one. So that's going to loop through. There we go. Now, another thing that I can do is, since these are following the master tempo, is I can go into the arrangement view and hit tab, jump in the arrangement view, and open up this master. I can hit A to turn on my automation, and I see this mixer song tempo, which I want to automate. Let's make it go from like 75 to 120. I, so now I can actually go through in this curve and just dial in, you know, how I want the tempo to be. So I can actually put the B. Undo. Start at like 75. Then after eight, five bars, we'll build up to 90. Then we'll build it more up to 100. So the tempo isn't sort of uh, fixed. It sort of flows back and forth just like a uh, um, jazz drummer would do it. And I can hold the option key and actually apply a curve I want to, too, so I can actually make it a little more uh, natural sounding that way. So now we let's hear how it sounds when I launch that first scene. So you can see that tempo just creeping up there. And now it's going to jump into the next section. Now it's jumping to the third bank, the busiest one. I can go back to my arrangement window and just maybe push that tip up even more. Yeah, make it a little more interesting that way. So there you have it. That's how to create just a random drum solo using these follow actions and uh, adjusting the probability of each note. Uh, th thank you and stay tuned for more of these generative videos.